now that's worth fighting a war for. Humba, humba, humba. Miss Howard, on behalf of the brave men of Teratupa, the fight in this PT base in the South Pacific, we'd like to... All right, you guys, move on out. It's all right, Corporal. I'd like to talk to Sorry, Miss Howard. Colonel Pryor's orders. All right, come on, guys. Get on, move out. Move out. Give, them, give the boys a hand. I'm going to make a direct run. Go ahead. Right, get... All right, you guys, hold that line. I got no do, he said. Darn those torpedoes. I told you guys you can't go in there. Yeah, well, well, now, he may be right. Dewey didn't say anything about bayonets, you guys. <laughs> <sighs> Gee, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I hope the boys didn't upset you. Oh, not at all. In fact, you'd be surprised how much a thing like this can do for a girl's morale, Commander. Uh, Mikhail. I, uh, quit Mikhail, ma'am. I'm a skipper of the PT-73 out of Taratupa. Look, ma'am, I, I want to be on a level with you. You see, uh, one of my guys told a whopper to our commanding officer about you being his cousin. Oh. And uh, he also promised that he'd have you on our base tomorrow. And frankly, if we don't deliver, we'll be fed to the sharks. Well, I certainly couldn't let a thing like that happen. First, I'll have to clear it with the brass, and then... Oh, Colonel Pryor, this is Commander McHale from Taratupa. Uh, how do you do, sir? Commander? We were just discussing the possibility of bringing our show to his base tomorrow. I'm afraid that's hardly practical, Miss Howard, since we're flying out to Pearl Harbor tomorrow. I thought I made that perfectly clear to that past Binghamton. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Uh, but, Colonel, uh, Tara Tupper wouldn't be too far out of your way. Uh, maybe you could sit down, say, uh, for about an hour or so? Negative, Mikhail. <laughs> now, if you will, Miss Howard, the general is waiting. Sorry, Commander. I guess we can't fight the Pentagon. <laughs> Bye, and good luck. Uh, Bye, Miss Howard, and thanks for trying. <laughs> <laughs> Time to evacuate the plane. Let's go. What are you doing here, Mikhail? And furthermore, what are we doing here? Oh, you had to make an emergency stop, Colonel. Welcome to our trooper, ma'am. What's the trouble, Commander? Epidemic on New Caledonia, ma'am. Yes, sir. They discovered it right after you left. <laughs> so, uh, isn't that right, Doctor? Doctor! Oh, yeah, yeah, meet the doctor. Well, that's why the Grand Cookberry fever struck. Let's move out. Cookberry fever? Yes, well, uh, yes, that's right. It, it, the scourge of the Solomons. Why, the last time it hit, it wiped out thousands, millions, thousands. Now, yes. I didn't think it was a million. No, right, all right. Come on, let's move out. Like to say, maybe your own. Just a second. Now, who the devil are you? Dr. Parker, your service, sir. MD, DM, BBC, AM, and FM. Now, look here, doctor, whatever your name is, we are not budging. I'm sorry, folks. Excuse me, Here you go, fellas. Come on. Here you go. Come on. 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 Now, see here, they're expecting us at Pearl Harbor in just a few hours. <laughs> no talking. Think that thermometer was in long enough, Doctor? Uh, <clears throat> oh, yes, yes, it's the uh, latest thing, instant mercury. Normal. Oh, thank heaven. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> symptom. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, everybody back. This man may be contagious. <laughs> hey, all right, now all you normals outside. Hurry, 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 hurry go. Stay right there, sir. <laughs> Golly, Miss Howard, you don't know how happy I am that you're all right. <laughs> yes, my fans would never forgive me if I died. <laughs> oh, cookaberry fever. Instant mercury. <laughs> you mean you knew it all the time? <laughs> and you're not sore? You'll put on your right force? Well, I'll never be able to top your act, but let's get the show on the road. Let's get it on the road! <laughs> Welcome to Taratupa, Miss Howard. It's the fighting as PT base in the South Pacific. Well, thank you, Captain. Captain Binghamton, isn't it? Yes, yes, but my friends call me Wally. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, uh, Miss Howard, uh, may I present to Admiral Rogers? Only kind of you to stop off here, Miss Howard. I don't see how I could have passed it up, Admiral. 
you'd do anything for me, Admiral. Anything. Oh, and, and Cousin George. Cousin George. I want to tell you, Miss Howard, this is a fine boy. He's almost like a son to me, this boy. Well, I'm sure the whole family would be delighted to hear he's being so well taken care of, Captain. Dear Cousin George. <laughs> Family reunions always affect them this way. Oh, yes. Uh, how's Aunt Julie's? I mean, uh, Uncle Clarish. Uh, well, it sounds like showtime. <laughs> yes, gentlemen. Can't keep the troops waiting. Uh, I'd better change. Oh, I'll show you here, ma'am. Right this way. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, Admiral, uh, shall we take our seats? <laughs> Seven seas, don't cry, baby. Don't sigh, baby. Bye, 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 baby. When I come back, we'll live a life of these. Seems kind of tough now to say goodbye in this way. But Mama's got to be rough now. So that she can be sweet to you another day. Bye, 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 baby. Oh, don't cry, baby. Sure, baby. Your mama's off to the seven seas. <laughs> Howard, wonderful. I loved your shoe shoe. It was marvelous. Oh, thank you, Captain. <laughs> it was awfully kind of you to perform for us, Miss Howard. We're certainly indebted to you and Colonel Pryor. Uh, uh, Colonel Pryor? Well, he didn't have anything to do with it, Admiral. Isn't that right, Cousin George? Uh, cousin Reed, I mean, if, if anybody deserves the credit... By the way, where is the girl? I thought I heard one of the musicians say he's at the base hospital, sir. Base hospital? Well, Binghamton, maybe you'd better get over there and see if there's anything wrong. Oh, well, I don't think that's necessary, Admiral. No, no, I don't think that's necessary either, Admiral. In fact, I was planning on escorting Rita, uh, Miss Howard, to the officers' club. Sure, a little sample of Taratupa hospitality. <laughs> well, I will attend to that little chore myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, you set your course for the hospital and see what's wrong with the colonel. No worries. Aye, aye, sir. Wipe that smile off your face. 